other news now, and emergency services have given up hope of finding a life. I don't know what I was really expecting, but I know I have been totally impressed. Work is still going on in Shirley, Southampton. The, I think your programme is incredibly gas. slick. The content was excellent. There's a lovely shift in tone from beginning to end. Really strong top stories, a lovely middle, good sport, and then, you know, a cracking and finally stories. A father and his four-year-old daughter survive a huge gas blast in Southampton. Massive explosion. It, it just shook the whole area. It looked very thought about, very considered and really professional. It didn't look like it had been done by students. That's what really struck me. And that's not necessarily something I was bargaining for. 535 frontline jobs in Hampshire Police are set to be axed, including 14 police officers from Winchester. Police and crime. Um, but yeah, I was massively impressed. And there were items I saw today that would be appropriate on South today. Faster than the speed of sound. That means it will be six times more work day in, day out in news. Uh, that's the environment I'm used to, but actually to see what you do with features, I thought was excellent. <laughs> It's also what an audience now expects, um, I think, with social media and the kind of television people are watching. To have the sort of softer stuff, the features, is what people really enjoy watching and looking into in their downtime. Over 800,000 crimes each year go unrecorded. But then you did other things like graphic sequences that would have had a place on regional or even national television. The thought, the creativity, the imagination. And that's what's really exciting, that these brains are going to go out there into the world of journalism and hopefully make their mind. Other news now and emergency services have given up hope of finding...